This is part two of a series of videos where I'm going to show you the basics of recording and mixing drums. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your audio interface with your DAW. I'm going to be using Pro Tools for this example, but the concepts apply to any DAW. First, we're going to create a new blank session. We're going to set the audio file type to WAVE, the bit depth to 24-bit, which is pretty standard, and the sample rate to 44.1 kHz. Now, there's other options for sample rates, such as 48, 88.1, 96, and even 192 but 44.1 works just fine for what we're doing. So I'm gonna name my session. And let's open it up. In Pro Tools, I've got a setup, playback engine, and on the playback engine, you select your audio interface. The name of it is obviously gonna be different for each interface, but for me, it's XLive. Next, you might have the option to change the buffer size I'm gonna leave it at 1024 because that's the only option I have. A higher buffer size like 1024 is gonna be safer for recording, but there's gonna be a higher latency. A lower buffer size like 128 is gonna have less latency, but it might introduce some clicks and pops in your recording. So once you set your playback engine, I'm gonna click okay, and I'm gonna to go to setup and IO. IO stands for inputs and outputs. And I'm just gonna double check that I'm getting all my inputs and outputs. The audio interface I'm using is an X32 and it has 32 ins and outs. And as you can see, I have all 32 inputs uh, set up and on my outputs, I have all 32 outputs. And my default output is one and two, which is what I have my speakers hooked up to. Now that we have our interface set up, let's create some tracks. I'm gonna go new tracks. For my example, I'm doing six mics, six tracks, um, all mono audio tracks. And I'm just gonna label them kick, snare, rack tom, floor tom, OH for overhead, and hats to designate that's on the hi-hat side, and OH ride for the overhead on the ride symbol side. Next, I'm gonna create my master fader which uh, your DAW might just automatically have built in, but Pro Tools, you have to create it manually. And it's basically the master bus that everything gets routed to. So every individual track gets routed to the master bus, which then sends out of output one and two, which is connected to my speakers. In other DAWs, the tracks will just default to the master left-right bus. Next, I'm gonna go to the mix window, and I'm just gonna verify that the inputs are correct. I have all my mics plugged into inputs one through six for the six channels I have. And as you can see, input one, two, three, four, five, six, all line up. And the output is output one to two, which then feeds into the master bus. Now I'm gonna test out one of the inputs. In this example, since I don't have my kit right here, I'm just gonna use this mic to test out input one, which is what I have plugged in. As you can see, I'm getting signal onto track one and that's being sent out of the master bus. When you set this up for drum recording, you're gonna to wanna to verify that you're getting signal into each track. And the next step is going to be setting the preamp gain. That's it for setting up your audio interface. On the next video, I'm going over how to set up and place all your mics to get the best recording you can. So stay tuned for that.